I saw The Last Jedi yesterday. It was pretty good, I guess. CGI was well done. Yeah, I mean, sure, Boba Fett still wasn't in it. And, like, I don't know. Well, apart from Boba Fett not being in it, it was pretty, still a pretty good movie. Lando wasn't in it. Again. The Rebels got betrayed. Again. Key characters die. Again. Including Phasma. Kylo Ren is shirtless. Not really an image I needed to see. He smashes his helmet for no reason. Okay. Admiral Akbar dies. Snoke dies. By his own apprentice, much like Darth Plagueis. Was it again? Yeah. <sighs> Luke dies. Of course. Yeah. And apparently, Snoke's huge, like, huge Star Destroyer dreadnought, which is, like, a, allegedly bigger than Palpatine's Star Dreadnought, the the Eclipse somehow gets severed in half by a Moncrelian cruiser. Leia is somehow able to use the Force to get herself back onto her ship in space. Surprised her lungs didn't blow up, and then she was in rehab for like two days. It's basically like watching Empire Strikes Back in reverse. Then forwards, then reverse, 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 forwards, reverse, and then forwards again. I don't know. I honestly don't know, man, but it's pretty good nonetheless. Sure, it's a rehash of Empire Strikes Back, like Force Awakens was rehash of A New Hope. Snoke dying wasn't really necessary in my opinion, since it's only like the second movie of the new trilogy. Last one being Episode 9, which Force Awakens, rehash of A New Hope. Last Jedi, rehash of Empire Strikes Back. Episode 9, most likely rehash of Return of the Jedi. And of course it's going to be. This is a new trilogy. <sighs> Pretty good nonetheless. Ticket prices, not overpriced since I saw it a week after its release. Anyway, it was pretty good. This is Jericho. See you later. Bye.